Okay, great morning. It is Tuesday the 2nd, and today I'm taking cards from the, uh, what is this, the Light Seers Tarot, Sacred Destiny Oracle, the Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle, and Mausolea Oracle of Souls. Okay, so I've already pulled the cards. Now, what I got was first was belonging. Everyone wants to belong somewhere. The second one we have is judgment. The next one that came out, and I've never seen this card before. Well, there's a bunch of them I haven't seen before today. Purity. Or, last but not least, Lilith. Thief of life. Okay. So everyone wants to belong. So what is it you're seeking? What, what type of things are you surrounding yourself? Are your judgments coming from purity, from truth, from love? Okay. Or is it coming from the bottomless pit of jealousy, anger, whatever it is, the things that steal life, okay, uh, the things that are degrading, the things that are, you know, you just get sucked into this nasty thing, you know, like we have the ones, those, the Proud Boys, or, you know, any of those type of organizations, or the KKK, or, you know, any of those things that suck you in, you know, because they want to belong somewhere and then they get off on a wrong track, which is not life affirming, it's life stealing. Okay. So look at what you're surrounding yourself with. Okay. You get the people like in the White House that Trump has sucked these people in and invariably their career goes right down the tubes. So again, you know, they thought they were going to get something from it with him. But most often than not, they wind up ruined. So is that what you want to surround yourself with? Is that the type of place you want to be? Or people that want to get sucked into that crowd like the... Uh, um, like in Florida, we have the golf set club, okay? Those people, the ones that have their yachts and they belong to the best golf course and all of that type of thing. Do you want to be a plastic person that's judging everything by what is it, the latest handbag somebody has, okay? I've got a better handbag than you. Mine's newer. My Birkin is newer than your Birkin. Okay, do you really want to get sucked into that crowd? Okay, so today is just a day to look at what are you surrounding yourself with? Is it something that's based on purity? That's giving you something beneficial in life and your judgment? Or is it something that's just sucking the lifeblood out of everything that it comes in contact with? Okay. Now, you, everybody's been around those people that, you know, just suck your lifeblood out. The energy vampires that latch on. And when you get around them, you know, by the time you're done, you've just been exhausted. Okay. So, again, are you, are you trading your self-worth? Are you trading your good standing, your honesty, your integrity? Are you letting go of those and going a, a way that's just going to bleed you dry in the end just so you can belong somewhere? Okay. So again, it's the time to look at where are you investing your energy? Is it something that's on the up and up? Okay. Or is it something that's going to bleed you or others dry? Okay. Um, 
And don't think if you are in some place that you're, you know, it's a challenge to your integrity, then it might be time to think about moving and going to a different class of people, a different thing. You know, it's just like, you know, if you have somebody that's in drug treatment programs, you know, and if they're with the blood suckers, <laughs> okay, um, they're running away from something, trying to cover over things, uh, escapism through drugs, alcohol, whatever it is. And it's not doing anything good for them. So if they're going to change their way, they have to change their path. They have to surround themselves with a different type of person. They need to let go of this. Okay, these dark avenues. They need to step into purity, into something that is life affirming. There's nothing life affirming about drugs, about heroin or any of those things. What what is life affirming there? It isn't. Okay, it's not life affirming. Or alcohol. Okay? People get drunk and they cause accidents, they're in fights, they're, you know, it's just they become demonic almost sometimes, just anger and stuff that comes out. So again, if there's something in your life that is blood sucking, that's causing you to lose your integrity, your honesty, then it's time to cut that out. Okay, because this is a judgment you don't need. You want to go for belonging to a place of judgment, of purity, honesty, integrity. Okay, not one there that's to, it's there to drag you down and suck you dry. Okay, so I think we'll leave this here. Um, again, this is another one pretty straightforward. Um, it might be time to reevaluate again things of where you're belonging. And again, no place, no belonging is worth it if it causes you to lose your integrity. Okay? Your honesty, your integrity is so important. And eventually, you know, if you go the route of this route, not only are others not going to respect you, but you are not respecting yourself, okay? If you sell out and go down that path, you may think you might get some more power for a short time, but that's short-lived in the eternity of things, okay? So one thing, again, you don't want to lose. Um, you don't want to lose your integrity. Okay. That's one thing that you take with you when you leave this mortal frame. The only thing you can take with you is your basic makeup. If you if a person of honesty, integrity, okay, that's not out there to play games with people, that's sitting there not trying to take advantage of people, okay, that's what you take with you. The money, your title, whatever that is, is nothing, okay, that stays here. So which side of the fence of that are you on? Is it time to choose a new path? Is it time to let go of some things that are causing you to, again, start to lose your integrity? Because nothing's worth that, okay? If you keep your integrity, you will sleep well at night, okay? So I'm going to leave this here. Thank you for tuning in. Much love and light to everyone out there. Okay, please be safe. Continue to use safety measures as you're going out and about. Okay, thank you. Love and light.